additional safety information apply to highly active platinum catalysts. These are given at the end of the video. Hi there. It has been a long time since we uploaded our last video. We are very busy so we do not have a lot of time for video editing. Nevertheless, finally, here's how to prepare the platinum catalyst for the preparation of nitric acid from ammonia. We know that some of you have been waiting for this for a long time. If you haven't seen our video about the production of nitric acid from ammonia then feel free to check out the link in the description. We won't bother you with the long theory section, so let's just skip ahead and start preparing the catalyst. As for reagents, you are going to need some platinum, nitric and hydrochloric acid, some sodium chloride and ascorbic acid as reducing agent and quartz wool as substrate. Now before you freak out, the amount of platinum required is so little, that its value is in the range of pennies or cents. We are using a piece of platinum sheet metal, but you can go to a jeweler and just buy a tiny amount of platinum wire. It won't cost much. We are going to use 20 milligrams of platinum. This is worth about 30 cents. But it is enough to prepare a large quantity of catalyst. Our goal now is the prepared sodium hexachloroplatinate. This will then be reduced to elemental platinum on the surface of the quartz wool. The first step is to dissolve the platinum in aqua regia. For this, add one part of concentrated nitric acid to three parts of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Add the platinum to the mixture and heat it up. The platinum should dissolve in a matter of minutes, forming a nice orange colored solution. This is our hexachloroplatinic acid. We now need to get rid of excess nitric acid. For this, transfer the mixture to an evaporating dish. Add some concentrated hydrochloric acid, boil it down to a syrupy consistency and then repeat the process until no more nitrogen oxides escape from the liquid. This process will consume the nitric acid inside reactions, 
liberating nitrosyl chloride for example. This is a volatile gas and thus escapes from the mixture. We then boil down the solution carefully in order to drive of hydrogen chloride. Do not evaporate to dryness. In the end, we are left with a slush of chloroplatinic acid. This is dissolved in a minimal amount of water. Now, we need to add the stoichiometric quantity of sodium chloride to precipitate out sodium hexachloroplatinate. For every mole of platinum, we are going to need two moles of sodium chloride. So in our case, we need to add 0.42 mg of sodium chloride. The solution is then boiled down. The solid is taken up with 95% ethanol, filtered and evaporated to dryness. The solid is then crystallized from water, yielding nice crystals of the hexahydrate. So let's prepare the catalyst. For this, 
Dissolve 10 mg of the sodium hexachloroplatinate hexahydrate we just prepared in 20 cubic centimeters of water. To this, add 0.5 g of a well-cleaned piece of quartz wool. Then, add 10 cubic centimeters of 5% by weight of ascorbic acid in water. Soon, we can see very fine, black particles of platinum precipitating from the solution onto the quartz wool. Let this stand overnight. Let this stand overnight. The next day, the platinated quartz wool is carefully removed from the solution and rinsed with water. After allowing it to dry, heat it up to red heat for a few seconds, in order to fuse the platinum particles to the quartz wool. And that's it. You have successfully prepared a platinum contact for the Ostwald oxidation. Even though this process is a bit lengthy if you have to start from elemental platinum, it is the proper way to do it. There is however a shortcut. We could apply the same method that was used in former times to prepare platinized asbestos. We simply substitute the asbestos for quartz wool. For this, prepare the chloroplatinic acid just as we demonstrated. Now, dissolve the solid chloroplatinic acid in ethanol. This solution is then applied to a piece of quartz wool which is then set on fire and heated with a Bunsen burner. From the heat, the platinic acid decomposes to chlorides and then to platinum oxides which are then reduced by the carbon in the ethanol. The contact prepared in this way has a very high platinum content and is too reactive for an Ostwald reactor. Now for some warnings, do this preparation outside or in a fume hood, as toxic gases and acid vapors are formed. Platinum salts are very toxic if ingested. Keep the platinum catalyst away from hydrogen, methane and other combustible gases. When these gases come into contact with the platinum catalyst, they can spontaneously ignite. We will demonstrate this property in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.